What's happening on the screen here, mate? Pickup truck in America. Oh, this is me telling about a true story. When I was in the States with my family, and uh, and we got followed. But I mean, if I start telling you what it is, it, that is it's just me telling the story on top of the story. I know. I just wanted to sort of, we'll just sort of have a look to see if there's any bits of your body that you hate now. It's one of those um, things, isn't it? It's one of the things I get accused of all the time: is making things up, making stories up. There's, this, tr this is absolutely true for, yeah. for what that fucking... Going to you know, with them. That's what if that does. fucking matters. Giving up on that? Good. Yep, right. run out of steam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, one, one push. Ah, now this is good. This is good, you like this. One push, welcome to the pleasure though. Send your regards to the fish is what I wrote down on my list of memories. You, you take this one, mate. It's a game we invented called One Push, and I cannot recommend it highly enough to any of you who are travelling and uh, are lucky enough to stay in a hotel with a swimming pool. Obviously, yeah. a lot of people listening. <laughs> well, we've been in a swimming pool. Whenever, whenever we were lucky enough to stay in a, yeah. a hotel with a swimming pool, which I'd say is one in... Five? Something like that, yeah. One in five? Don't wanna, we don't want to alienate people if they can't go in a swimming pool because they've got pipe cleaner legs. If you've got anything. pipe cleaner legs or a nasty furry cut. <laughs> Pop a sock on. Fucking hell. This what? Is, well, we've just been speaking so shit on you. <laughs> I'm so sorry to you all. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, if there's any consolation, I am paying for this. Yeah, that's true. I would make more money if we didn't do this. Yeah. So it's I'm a lose-lose, right. isn't it? I'm doing all right. No, uh, you're, you're being paid. Yeah. So the only winner in this is fucking you. It's me. How much are you getting? I don't know. Come on. I honestly don't know. I bet it's a one -er. A one -er? Yeah. It's not a one mate. Isn't it? It ain't a one right. Quarter of that. Find out how much it is. I'm looking at Lee. I'm looking at um, the producer. Yeah. It, would I call you a producer? How much is Ed getting for this, lady? I think we stop at about 17, and I've got a theory. Hey, is, is it a one-er? I think right, fine. you hit 17, you either make a I'm not on a one-er, mate. Lady? Or you see someone else. A quarter of that. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. For okay. Me, that's yeah. still that's, that's, that's Yeah, it's fine. I'm making that's money. That's a lovely little thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. What's that? That's a, you could go and buy some Ponzi burgers with that money, couldn't you? Ponzi burgers? What are you going to do with that money? Well, I don't know, I'll put it in... Because you're the only person who's benefiting from this DVD commentary. Right. Because I know that people are sitting at home going, I fucking hate these two. Right. So, <laughs> right. so you feel like you need to tell me how I can spend that money because I'm the only person benefiting. I want, you, I want to know what I you're going to do. I bet my mum's involved. I bet my mum's involved <laughs> in how you want to spend the money. If you want to spend it on drinking your mum's piss, that's fine. <laughs> now, back to it. We invented a game called One Push. Yeah. Um, which is really good. God, it's really irritating. My voice is really irritating in the background. Is it? it? Well, I think it needs to be on. I think that's... Yeah, OK. No! Imagine well, someone who's watching this with the commentary on that is double it. double the voice in the background. Double the voice in the background. <laughs> um, if, you're in a, if you're at a hotel with a swimming pool, yeah. I, I cannot recommend it highly enough. We invented a game called One Push, yeah. and it involves just uh, standing in, uh, at the swimming pool and pushing off once with your your allowed underwater. one push underwater, hands out in front of you. Once you've pushed, you're not allowed any movement whatsoever. Uh, uh, you're disqualified instantly if there is, yeah. and you see who can get the furthest with one push. Um, and there were inevitably I won because I'm uh, longer than everybody. Yeah, well, Greg's six foot eight, so well, I recommend but, I recommend playing it with someone who's a, of a similar height and maybe doesn't have sort of legs that are the same thickness as your whole body. So, do you think uh, in the game of one push, would you would you say it was fair that I only ever won by six foot eight? Who's with your partner? Give me a little wave. Well, no, no, however, uh, no, whatever the, the difference is between us, I should say. No. What are you? How tall are you? Uh, I'm six foot one. Right, so I, I should only have won, using your logic, by seven inches. Seven inches. Every time. That's true. But, but you I, didn't. I won, you won by devastating. Yeah, devastating amounts. It's, you, the breath... No matter the how breath was good. You the breath was good. The breath was good. You've got strong legs. You've got the legs of an ox. You push off once. You go as far as you can. Yeah. But you do have to stand up, turn round, and say, mark it. Mark it. You've got to mark where you land. Yep. Hand in the air. Yep. You always very loudly announced mark it. Mark you? it. You've got to say mark Re it loudly. Regardless of how many families were in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> 
And uh, catchphrase. Um, the other thing phrase. is, you've got to have your own catchphrase. Yeah. Mine was welcome. <laughs> Mine was welcome to the pleasure zone. Yeah. And I don't really know why. No. I mean, the theme you've probably seen emerging here is we don't really know why we said a lot of things. Honestly, mate. I wish I hadn't reviewed this list because it makes me feel like we're fucking insane. My catchphrase was, "I'll send your regards to the fishes," which at least makes sense. Yeah, doesn't going it? underwater. Yeah. yeah. Did Brian have a catchphrase? Some something about chicken me up, <laughs> chicken me up. Something about a mermaid, I think. Huh. I wonder why I said "Welcome to the Pleasure Day." Why I thought that was appropriate. And you'll all be sitting there now going, "I don't know, mate." Right. Why was any of this appropriate? Sh- should I carry on with this list? I think you should. Uh, well, I've got many more, actually. Beep window knock. Oh, that's yeah. a great game. Yeah. Yourself, isn't it? Yeah. So, it starts just knocking on the window when people walk past, isn't it? Well, it, it's a very sudden and unexpected knock yeah. at somebody yeah. that's irritated us. Yeah. So it's dunk, knock. Yeah. Knock. And, oh, look, knock. Beep. Just to get... Deal with someone who's annoyed us. I seem to remember when we were in I can't Northern where, Ireland. Was it Northern Ireland? Yeah, yeah. It was. The uh, Belfast taxi driver said, "You knock on my window one, one more time, I'm going to knock your block off." Yeah, I think he said he was going to box my ears. <laughs> Either way, he used an arcane sort of Beano term for he beating. He did use an arcane Beano term, yeah. which is ironically the title of my new album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was really angry because I did a sudden knock on his window at a stranger. Yeah. You kept doing it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, until he said he was going to box my ears or whatever whatever turn of the century threat he decided to use. <laughs> he was, I enjoyed Ireland. Did you? That was one of my favourite places. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. I enjoyed both parts. Well, in Southern Ireland, it was a, um, quite a difficult gig, wasn't it? The most difficult gig of the tour. I had a nice time. Did you? Well, no, it was rowdy, wasn't it? It was awful. There was an awful group of girls in the audience. We had to have them ejected. But the thing is, because I, was, I, not, I wasn't doing a show, I was just doing stuff, like just yeah. chatting rubbish for a bit. Well, you just, I didn't uh, mind the interruption. It sort of freshened it up a bit for me. You just insulted those loud girls, didn't you? Yeah, for like 25 minutes. You did. You said some pretty sexually aggressive things, you don't mind me saying. Well, I think faced with 35 um, sort of really... What, sexually aggressive women? Yeah. I'd call them, from Neary. So they were from Northern Ireland, so we can't blame Southern Ireland for that. No, no, we can't. I'm not blaming Southern Ireland for any of this. Um, I can't remember what I said, but did I say some pretty sexually aggressive things? I don't know. You dealt with them very well. (laughs) Um, But they ruined your show, We both had different ways of dealing with those girls. You used wit uh, and uh, lightning lightning mental reflexes. Uh, I... Had them removed by security. <laughs> you stopped the show. I stopped, stopped the show. show. Through when yeah. we're going to have a we're going to have a break uh, while these women are taken out. And that's almost a metaphor for the aging process because you could be bothered to take them on. You could be bothered. <laughs> yeah. I've only got enough energy to eat and dress. <laughs> eat, dress, and talk. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes not the last. Not one. even that. Eating is always there. Dressing, you mainly, mainly do, but sometimes you don't even talk, do you? Has there any, you, you and I have spent bloody days together now, oh, yeah, right? yeah. Have you ever looked at me and suddenly thought, oh, shit, I think I'm going to kiss him? <laughs> right. Why? I thought, we got, I thought we got away from this. So this started with, um, are you in love with me, Ed? <laughs> then it went to, if you were gay, would you go out with me? <laughs> And now it's, have I ever looked at you and thought, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just going to kiss you? <laughs> Honest answer, I... Everyone I've ever met, at some point whilst I've been talking to them, I've thought, what would happen if I just kissed them now? Seriously? Yeah, definitely. Including me? Incl- of course, including you. I've met you. Yeah, so, I know. Including family members. Oh, my God. I can't stop that happening going, wouldn't it be mental if I kissed them right now? Well, kiss as in a proper... Proper just try to get off with them. Like, that would destroy... So family members? Imagine, imagine it. Imagine, what family members? Imagine you, you've imagined getting get off with your dad? Imagine being at a funeral or something. Yeah. And you're stood with, a, with like, a, a grieving relative. I'm imagining that now. Right. How do you not have a little voice that goes, just get off, get off with them? <laughs> just get off with that person? Because that would ruin the whole day in one movement. <sighs> Well, it's just mental, mate, isn't it? <laughs> just think about what you've just... Oh, I've just dropped a knife. 
Just think about what you've just said. <laughs> right. At some point in your life, you've imagined getting off with family members no, at a but funeral. Not because this is I... supposed to be my DVD commentary. <laughs> <laughs> it's. <laughs> I'm paying you. I'm pay. I personally, or or de facto, these people who are listening to this are paying you yeah. to tell them that you sometimes fantasise about copping off with grieving, <laughs> it's grieving not, family members. It's not a fantasy. It's oh, interesting. Oh, you, you've done it. Oh, my, I, I was just looking into the, the other booth. To see. <laughs> Lei, who's helping well, us with I this, like, she's no, just texting. Her, and when you were going on about getting off with family members yeah. who, who are freshly grieving, no. right. she was texting. It's not fancy. I wouldn't like to do she it. She wasn't going, oh, this, what is, I'm a, saying, this is an interesting um, it's thread the, of this discussion. The existential abyss that you can do anything you That's want. That's the title of your new album, it? Isn't is, it? yeah. <laughs> um, you can do anything you want as a human. You're completely free to do it. And imagine it would just completely spoil everything. Just one little movement. Yeah? So, yeah. You talk about that sort of thing in your show, don't you? What? So you like you? Don't you talk? You talk about that in your show. What existential? Ab- so yeah, existential abyss. You talk about driving. Yeah, and, and just thinking, doing fuck one, it, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, and having horrific thoughts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah let's jump. Yes, I do. I say well, let's so jump off a building. Let's crash yeah. deliberately. Yeah, we all have those thoughts. Yeah, but you're slightly different. No, because because that wouldn't end in your death, would it necessarily? No, but it would end of in you, something horrible, wouldn't of, it? Of, let, let's say your uncle Ralph. Uh, has lost Auntie uh, Jibber, I was going to say. Jibber? <laughs> that's not even a word, but let's say that's the name. Jibber, okay, She's from yeah. New Zealand. <laughs> Auntie Jibber's dead. Uh, well, and what, you go, oh, on, what, how, Uncle what Ralph, how are you feeling? Oh, I feel awful, mate. Oh, he's from New Zealand as well. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. Oh, I feel awful, mate. Auntie Jibber's d- died. You, uh, I know, that's why I'm here at the funeral. Um, I'm so sorry, you were married for a long time, weren't you? Yes, we were married for 65 years. It was great. It was a great marriage. Oh... Oh, oh, thanks, son. It's nice to have your arm reassuring me on my on my show. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Ed, what the fuck are you doing? Look, I'm not saying I want to do it. I'm not saying I'll ever do it. I'm just saying, isn't it interesting that I could if I wanted to? Oh, well, you and I could get off right now. No, we could, but we're not going to. Are we not? So this is somehow. Sorry, this was this was about Auntie Jibber's death a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, oh god, let's stick with Jibber. All right, yeah. So no, I I, I wouldn't do it. I'm just saying. That Did you love Jibber? Jibber? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Well, we never really spoke, but... But Uncle Ralph? Uncle, Me and Uncle Ralph would talk on the phone now and again. Yeah, we'd get off with each other. <laughs> I mean, where do you draw the line at a funeral, mate? At a family member's funeral? Where do you draw the line? Well, you've got to, sometimes it's just awkward pauses, isn't it? You've just got to fill those, fill those pauses. It was amazing. No, don't try and make a pause. I'm not. I'm not having that. <laughs> Can we pause for a bit? It's just so hot in here. I want to kill myself. <laughs> and we're back. We're back. We had you a little break. Know, you didn't know we'd gone, but we did. We had a little break because it gets unbearably hot in this booth. Yeah. So uh, oh, we were going insane. But the great thing is, I've listened. We've just listened back to what we've been saying, and it would appear, despite the heat in this booth, the quality has not suffered. <laughs> Something amazing happened just now. We just listened back to about 10 minutes of what we've been saying. And I, during that 10 minutes, zoned out. (laughs) So, once again, can I formally apologise? Because I... This is my my DVD, and I zoned out of the shit we were saying. Yeah, ten minutes after you'd been saying it. Yeah, and you were checking to see if it was all right. Okay, I'm going to make up for it with a burst of creativity. I'm going to make up a song. Uh, Do you need a title? Uh, you give me a title. I'm going to make up an incredible song right now. Let's go. Graham went to the beach. It was a lovely sunny afternoon. Graham was in the heat of his room. He finished the maths homework that his teacher had said. Oh, yeah. His mom came upstairs and said, I'm so proud of you, Graham. What's incredible? (laughs) And and this is incredible. I forgot the title that you sent me. Right. Amazing. Yeah. All right, Graham went to the beach. Right, okay. She said, Graham, you've worked so hard, you've made me so proud. Take some time off and shout out loud exactly where you want to go. I want to go to the beach, Mom. She said, no. He said, what? I thought I was going to be allowed to go to the 
B. She said, no. He said, why not? She said, the bitch is dangerous, you fucking... <laughs> Did you time no. it? You didn't even time no, it? No, I didn't time it, mate, and I'm glad I didn't time it. Right. So I would have found the exact minute, can, and just say how tired and mad Greg is, he just went for his phone to time it and picked up the control for the air conditioning. <laughs> right. I forgot that was part of the rules of this game, is we time, time it. it. And can I just say, also part of the rules should not be it ending with, no, you can't go to the beach, you fucking brick. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's why I stopped. Right, all right. OK, ready? Have we got a new title? I'm going to give you a new title, I'm going to time oh, I'm it d- I'm doing one, am I? Yeah. Right, OK. Said, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, mate. Yeah. Went, all right, let's do a role play. Um, this happened in the back of a taxi in East London. I went, right, I'm going to explain it to you. Um, it's going to be about bees. Bees, OK. Moment. Just bees in general. Place. No. Minute, it's going to be about Simon Wilfred and so his beard of bees. Went, what? Okay, ready? OK, yeah. Simon Wilfred and his beard of bees, a song by Ed Gamble. Three, two, one, so go. In a little village in deepest Devon, it wasn't much but a salmon, it was heaven. Every day he'd wake up waiting, he needed to... Sh- 17 seconds. Right. It's because it's I said he'd wake up waiting, and that doesn't make any sense. Sometimes you do wake up waiting, mate. Waiting for something. Right, well, all I'd got there is Devon and Heaven, and I was pretty proud of myself there. Not bad, 17 I'll seconds. What, it was gonna, I'll tell you what it was going to be about. Um, he couldn't grow a real beard, um, so uh, he had to put a beard of bees on. Yeah, and it would have been something along the lines, I imagine. Uh, he was so ashamed, he fell to his knees. And someone said, don't worry, grow a beard of bees. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, and then his his mum would have come in and called him a fucking prick. I would think so. (laughs) Set me one. Right, okay, uh, the basket weaver's daughter. Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) It was... Right. It was a good night in Wickfield. (laughs) (laughs) Again. And one other thing. You can't get out of Wakefield, mate. It was a cold night in Wakefield. They were in the pub called the Lamb to the Slaughter. (laughs) Right, that's finished then. 26 seconds, and most of that was me laughing. (laughs) Right. They were in the pub. You have to know, on the the tour, we we went for ages, didn't we? Sometimes we made five minute songs up. There's too much pressure here, isn't there? Yeah, there is a bit. Yeah. You try one more and then we'll leave. All it. right, give me give me a title. Okay. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna close my eyes for this as well. All right. Uh, X McLean. What? X McLean. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Roll up, roll up. <laughs> the, cir- <laughs> the circus is in town. They're coming from all around to see the ex McClown. He lives nearby in a house with a thatch, but they all come to see him scratch. Ex McClown. Ex McClown. Ex McClown. Ex McClown. That's not a nose that he puts on on purpose. That's how he was born. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an exploding car. He's got an exploding car. <laughs> right. I didn't think that song could be ruined anymore. I ruined it. It was so good. Why does he have an exploding car? I thought it meant me. I was trying to. I was trying to rhyme something with anaphylactic shock. Right. And he had an exploding car. But that doesn't even make sense because eczema isn't any related to anaphylactic shock anyway. No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Send me another one. I'm, quite, I'm, I'm getting into my stride, I think, now, though. All right. That was excellent. That was the best song so far it on the Stevie right, D commentary. It? Yeah, it was the most McLean. interesting one. Yeah, definitely. Although, yeah. some would say it was the best you, title. You set, you set that up, mate, didn't you, really? No. Yeah, no, I mean, no, you, know, McLean, you can take lovely. 70% of the credit. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Um, oh, what shall we What shall we give nothing. to you? Uh, so then I had to go for my third camera. Pi- <laughs> um, Pineapple. Pineapple Can't Tony and the, es- the escape from Smoky because Mountain. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Pineapple Tony and the escape from Smoky Mountain. I'm going to have to write this down. <laughs> 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 
Right, OK. <laughs> Go. Because a, a man... The Smoky Mountain was high. The Smoky Mountain was remote. <laughs> I, I've fucking I've forgotten his name. What's his name? Right, right. Look, the last two songs name? you've done, what you've forgotten the title so one line in. I'm in my 40s, mate. That's no, you're being in your 40s. What's isn't his it? name? Pineapple Tony. Pineapple Tony, okay. It's a fairly the distinctive smoky name. The mountain was high. The, I won't count this because I've already said it. Yeah. The smoky mountain was remote. How are we going to get away? Said the brave boy scout to his leader. <laughs> got to come up with a plan, young man. I've got to find a way out. I'm gonna ride us free on a pony. How? I don't know. A pineapple tony. <laughs> right. you all you thought of all the way yeah, through no. that is pony and tony. I know. You had no... It That's was, all I got. It made no That's sense. That's all I got was Tony and Pony. Because he's going to ride us out on a pony. Why? Because I'm Pineapple Tony. Yeah, but come on. I set you a title, Exma Clown, and mine is Escape from Smoky Mountain with Pineapple Tony. <laughs> it's fucking right. I'll give you one. Oh, I'll right. give you one. All right, go on. Here comes yours. Go Ready? Yeah. Really properly dealt with you. Right. Uh, um, uh, Professor uh, Tifton uh, Pillage. Um, <laughs> Pro- <laughs> Professor Tifton Pillage <laughs> and his uh, um, springs for legs. What is it with you? And Professor, hey, listen to me. To Professor Tifton down. Pillage and his springs for legs. Right. Right. Three, two, one. Bounce, 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 bounce. Who's that coming out his house? Bounce, 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 bounce. Is Professor Tifton Pillage? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Here he is with the springs for legs. Lot of energy. What's he had for breakfast? Eggs. Professor Tifton Pillage. Professor Tifton Pillage. Don't give him a tray of drinks because there'll be a spillage. Because of his springs for legs, he bounces around all day. Fucking hell. Absolutely amazing. You've just earned your money. You have just earned your money with Professor Tifton Pillage. And spillage. I never thought you'd get a rhyme for that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Well done. Cheers, mate. Ed Gamble, ladies and gentlemen. Do you, are you still in touch with these two? Oh, oh you're referring to the... I'm sorry, Matt. Now and again, I'll just refer to the DVD. <sighs> no, I've not, I've not heard from either of them. Although, straight after the recording of this, I had sex with both of those people. Yes, I know you did. You, you always did on every tour date, didn't you? It's one of my rules. Yeah. It's one of my rules. You're on my stage. Yeah. You're in my life. <laughs> That doesn't go for me, by the way, despite the chat that's been happening. Just for the uh, record, just to make it very clear, I didn't have sex with either of those members of the public. What a uh, world we live in where you have to reiterate that that wasn't true. Isn't it? Yeah. What a but world. who knows the litigious consequences of me not having said that. It's like us accidentally advertising Larks and Tensor, Larks Dippy and Prawns. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mum. Hello, Lord. You're just watching it now, mate. It's this woman's playing my mum. Yeah. Do you think she did a good job? Can you remember who was your favourite, your favourite mum on the tour? I think we're running out of steam, aren't we now? I don't think so, mate. I think. Already <laughs> weird. I think what we're doing now, our equivalent of running out of steam, is doing a genuine DVD commentary. <laughs> Me asking you what your favourite, who your favourite mum was, uh, on the tour. Yeah. Is it just quite a good question for the DVD commentary? Did you enjoy the tour, mate? I had a blast. It's a great time. An wasn't absolute it? blast. Really happy time. Just messing about, fish. messing about with my friends. Three guys messing about. So, yeah, it was great fun, mate. But let me ask you this. Go on. If you had a real problem in life, would you come to me? Right. What the hell are you if I was on tour with you, yeah. No. Go on, laugh at me. No. But they Outside you of the tour, would you, if you had a real problem in life, would you come yes. to me? You'll What's the problem? You, you're good at setting up problems. Last okay. Week, so let's. Monkey stem cells. And now I have to worry about right. fish. If you found out your mum was. Uh, right, oh, here, here we go. No, oh, no. Here we go, my mum's in it again. If you, Do you not think you would just. If after you all I've said, you just avoid putting my mum into these problems. If you found out your mum was actually your dad, would you right. come to me? No. Why not? What? Okay, so here's the thought. Here's what happens. Who's calling me and telling me this? Uh, your mum. So my mum. So you. Oh, your mum, dad. You play my mum. Your mum. You. You, you play my mum. Your mum, You play mum, right? Right. So I don't know yet. Mum, 
Yes, I Mord. do. Mord. Okay. <laughs> you, How's it got there? Has it <laughs> you play Mord. Okay, I'll be Mord. You play Mord Gamble. <laughs> you, <laughs> so you call me now. We'll role play it. We'll role play it. And this is what you think should happen. Go for it. Well, I wouldn't say I'm Mord. <laughs> I'd say, uh, hello, Ed. It's, um, it's your mum. Oh, hi, mum. How are you doing? Not too bad. Uh, where are you? Oh, I'm in Edinburgh at the moment at the Edinburgh oh, Festival. It's going. The show going well. Yeah, it's, it's going well. Really enjoying it. Thank no, you. I've read some pretty negative reviews. <laughs> right, okay. Well, Mum, we don't we don't read our reviews. To, but so oh, thanks I for that. Do that to you. Just just so you know, I haven't yeah, read no, any no, reviews no, either. No. Yeah. Okay, just make that clear. Yeah, you wouldn't have, not have read any oh, negative oh, ones. It's an excellent show. Um, don't doubt that for a second. I wasn't rude about your um, It's me, your mum. Oh yeah, no, I know. Hello. <laughs> I. Uh, I understand the show's been going very well. Yeah, it has been, thanks. Uh, You've enjoyed it. Yeah, okay. well, it was nice that you, you came up to see it, didn't you, as well? Yeah, I had a lovely time. Thanks so much. That's all right. Um, can I ask you a question? Go for it, yeah. If I told you something, you'd be OK, wouldn't you, if I, if I told you something? Depends what it was, Mum. Well, I'm not your mum, I'm your dad, so I'm a moad. Sorry, that's quite a lot of information to take in. Well, moment. I just thought it was better to rip the sticking plaster of life off, so to speak. So, you're not my mum. No, I'm actually your dad. And your, what was the last thing you said? I, well, because I've played the role of as being your mum for all these years, I yeah. suppose I don't want to fully let go of the title of mum, but I think I should address the new information I've given you that I'm actually yeah. your dad. Right, so... So I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving you a new potential hybrid title for me of Moad. Moad, OK. What I would say, mum, is if you've got such big information to drop on me, maybe don't use it as a time to try out your new word. <laughs> Sorry. But thank you for letting me know, all right? So what thank saying? you for letting me know. It's just, can it's, I explain? I, I, it's just okay, like, it's just been on my mind Mord. for months. Okay. It's been on my mind for months. Yeah. Uh, and in, in, in the many times I've rehearsed this in the mirror, yeah. naked, by the way, yeah. with my big dick flopping about yeah. in front of me. Right, okay. All right, my big dick and nice balls. got a big dick and balls, Mord. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just what people are thinking. <laughs> the amount of times that I've stood in front of a mirror with my big dick and balls. Yeah. Okay, guys, I need to know about them again. <laughs> I thought to myself, I must tell Ed that I'm not his mum. Yeah. I must tell Ed I'm not his mum, I'm actually his dad. Because I can, you can clearly see I'm a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here now is Greg Davis is completely entertaining himself. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Completely. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to your mum as well. I've only met her once briefly. I keep saying these awful things. So, so that's fine. So now, as as my mum, you've told, you've told me that. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. So here's it's what... just I've been listening. I've been rehearsing for years to yeah. tell you. Okay. I'm not your mum. I'm actually your dad. You're and, mad. And I thought it would help if I invented a new term for you to Mord. refer to. Yes, make you more okay. comfortable. You can say, oh, well, <laughs> well, thank you, Mum. That's a lot to take in. Yeah. Uh, can I call you back later? I've just got to ring Greg Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him, for God's sake. He'll use that. He'll use that to uh, fill up time. <laughs> now my guitar's out at this point. Here it is. Um, pretty talented musician. Yes. Yes, very much so. Very much so. You actually bought a little uh, ukulele on tour as well, didn't you? A little ukulele. And then I found out that the ukulele has different chords to the guitar, so I've never bothered to use it. No, I didn't think you'd use it when you bought it. No, I didn't really. You do that now and again, don't you? Yeah. You get all excited about it. But do you know what I've done with it? I've put it on my sideboard at home. Yeah. Because, and, and I mean this, part of me thought... If people, when people come round to see me, they'll think I'm a more interesting person if I've got a ukulele got on my a ukulele. Side Yeah, I think that might work, mate. How like, does that reflect on me? It's pretty bad, right? It's pretty bad that... I mean, I've been to your residence. Yep. And... Uh, like it? I do, but you're, you're always doing stuff, aren't you? You're normally out of there, so... Yep. Now I'd, all I'm imagining is just a sort of dirty mug and a ukulele. Yeah. So do you think people really come in and go, oh, a talking point? Do you think it makes you seem more interesting? What about the well, ukulele? I've, I've lost interest in this. And right. I, knew, I felt that happening. Yeah. I felt that happening, mate. Um, honestly, so I, what far, actually happened quite a lot is you got you got obsessed with getting a ukulele for about two days. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Within a minute, you'd put it in the boot, and we never got it out again. That's right. Right. And I almost bought her like a super ukulele for two hundred pounds. Yeah. We did that. Yeah. We managed to convince you out of that. Yeah. <laughs> also, the other thing you got really obsessed with, and you needed to tell everyone, is you thought you had solved, and I quote, solved 
the problem with male washing bags. I have solved it. No. I tweeted about it and I had loads of positive feedback. Yeah. yeah. People going, oh, thanks, Greg. Really he appreciate used a it. Ladies' hard shell makeup bag. And I've still got it. Right. Um, uh, Rod Gilbert has copied me. Uh, he copied me in most things. That's a bad example. That's true, yeah. But he, he's copied me and been and bought one, and he says it's changed his life. Right. Well, Have you bought one yet? No, because you've, you've negated a particularly important bit of information. When you told me about this, you were all excited, got it out, the, out your bag, going, look, hard shell. And I don't have a problem with washing bags anyway. Right. You said it was a universal problem. It's not. It is a, it is a universal right. problem. Two days later, yeah. something burst in that bag. No, it and didn't. You, it did, mate. Not in my hard shell yeah. washing case. And you were livid and you went, well, I thought I'd solve that. Wow. And man's just holding up a sign at the window saying 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. <laughs> so. You started the song now. 10 minutes left. It's the end of the show. I'm singing the song. Bonsai tree. I bring Ed on in a minute dressed as Bonsai to humiliate him. Spoiler warning, but hopefully you will have seen the actual show first before watching it with this. What are you thinking when you're standing backstage dressed as a Bonsai tree? What's what as a professional being paid? What, um, what's going through your mind? Well, just the thing I've, I'm being paid. Oh, really? is that cynical? Is it? I don't. Uh, no, I, I, I enjoy. I enjoy doing it. It was never as demeaning as I think it should be. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, mate. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm interested to see what I actually look like on camera. Have you never seen it? No, I've not you, seen this yet. I hope you don't think this is uh, too personal, but yeah. I'd fuck you. Right. I'd fuck you, I'd fuck you. Well, it's not, it's not too personal, mate. It would have been if you'd come straight out the gate and said that, but we've really built up to that over the last hour and a half, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> haven't we? If anything, it would have been rude if you'd not said that. I can't believe I'm that grey. Really? It suits I, you? I can't believe I'm that grey. It really suits you, mate. What do you mean? You look good, grey. Do you think I yeah. do? Yeah, yeah. In fact, I think I saw some pictures of you the other day where you had, like, normal just normal, normal coloured hair. Yeah, and you were sick into your mouth. You look wrong. Really? Yeah. But that's because you've only known me as a grey man. When did you, when did you go grey? <laughs> Six years ago. Six years started, ago. Started six, seven years ago. I might have seen you do comedy when you had. I probably wouldn't have known you, but I might have seen you do comedy. Possibly, 2004. Like yeah. yeah well, I think grey, grey suits you better. Right. Thanks, it, mate. It fits in with the rest of your body, like, go on the, like down, down, going downhill. It was weird when you had, like, normal coloured hair, because it was like, why doesn't his hair catch up with the rest of it? The decay. Yeah. But now you've had your teeth done. Fine. Feels like a nice way to sort of wind up the DVD commentary, doesn't it? To recognise that I'm that I'm a man in physical decline. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually getting drawn in by the song now, which is nice. It's lovely. I'm about to come on as well, so I think we should all. Yeah. Here he comes. Doing some of his acting. Here he comes. There. You never seen that before? No. What do you think? It's all right, isn't it? It's really nice. I I'm think. happy with that. I think I look. I think I look all right. I think you look lovely. I look, I look annoyed, don't I? Tell you what you look. Lantern jawed. Lantern jawed? Yeah. A lot of that is the uh, very tight masking tape. Yeah, who puts that on? I put that on myself. Right, right. why'd you put it on that tight? Well, because I, I don't want it to fall off. Because I don't know if you remember that one night I couldn't do the support uh, and you had to have James Acaster come and do the support. He's a very talented comedian. But yeah. he came on at the wrong point, caster. and he had the big he had a big pot on his head, and he put it the wrong way around so he couldn't see. Incredible! Yeah, he came on with that outfit. Yeah, uh, with the black thing totally covering his face. That that it was incredible. He just looked like a gimp. It was like I sung a song about a bonsai tree, and I brought a gimp on. Everyone was baffled. End of gig. I was you doing a beautiful speech here. Um, I thought, I'd be honest, I thought when we did the DVD that I might have someone backstage to put the Help you. put the, the tree on my head. Nope. Maybe we wouldn't use industrial gaffer tape. Yeah. But no, we'd, I didn't have to shave for the whole duration of your tour because it just ripped all the, all the stubble out of my chin. Do you know what I think's a shame? It's my only regret about your lifestyle choices you've made recently. Right. I, I'd lost about five stone in recent... Five stone? Six. Six stone in like recent that, yeah. months. Yeah. Couple, last couple of years. 
It would have looked a lot funnier if you were a big fat pig in that. I know. That's that, when that you came up with the idea. Yeah, I, I just imagined you, like a big yeah. old porker, yeah. coming out all wobbly tits in that outfit. Yeah. You actually come out. You look quite nice. Yeah. Oh my god. And then looking at us together there, I yeah. c- I can understand why that guy came up to us in uh, Norwich and and said how nice he was. He th- he thought it was that I took my son on. Some yeah, that, don't you didn't think we don't you didn't think well. that was a nice look, thing of him to say at the time, did you? No, I was incandescent. Was right. Seems to remember that got you down for a good couple yeah, of days. I didn't was it? furious about it at the time. Yeah, <laughs> but now I don't know. I have come to think of you as the sort of son. Well, you clearly haven't because we spent the whole commentary with you going on about how would I ever get off with you? Well, you get off with your uncle, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what well, it would appear what's good for the goose is not necessarily good for the gander head. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to them all singing. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it is lovely, mate. You know, the, 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 people try and explain the creative process sometimes. Yeah. And someone asked me recently, how did you come up with that bonsai song? And I had to say, all I can think is I had some sort of medical incident. Really? Yeah, because I, I mean, it's, it's utter, utterly fucking ridiculous. I remember it? coming around to your flat, actually, and you said, I'm, I've come up with a song for the next tour. It's yeah. About, about a bonsai tree. But I didn't come up with it. A dark part of my brain did. Yeah. Fuck off. She was good. She's great. I love her northern voice. Three minutes left, the man saying on a bit of paper. Though. Yeah. Well, the show's playing itself out now, Ed. Yeah. And there's, I mean, really. It's a great show. Really, thanks, man. It's a great show. Realist. Oh, lovely. Lovely use of the old C word. Yeah. What, um, realistically, no one's going to have got this far in the commentary. No. So this is all academic, really. It's no, all... exactly. It's just us having a chat now, isn't it? But it might be a uh, time to talk about uh, this on this performance, me genuinely losing my temper, which is coming up. Yes. Well, you don't see it on stage, because I lost, I lost it, was, it off stage. It was filmed, though, I think. I believe there's probably footage of it somewhere. I'd love to see it. Because because I'd like to learn from it. Because I'm so ashamed of the fact that I was. It was terrifying. It was angry. terrifying, Greg. Because you're you're a big man. Yeah. Um, and very very gentle, nice man. Yeah. Most, most of the, the time. time. But on that occasion, ooh. I was livid. And I, um, I should explain what happened. Was in a minute you'll see me come back on stage and I wheel a wedding cake on. Yeah. Uh, is this the actual one where it happened? Uh, I actually think this isn't. Yeah. There's other footage, because I, I did it, did the DVD over two nights and we chose our favourite one, so I don't think this is it. On the other night, I wheel the wedding cake out that you're about to see, and I, I, I headbutt the wedding cake, because it's a yeah. back reference to something I said earlier in the show. And um, people seem to like that idea, that I would just mm. finish the show by going, yeah, well, I will head, I'll do something totally ridiculous, I'll yeah. headbutt a wedding cake. Now, that is the non-dangerous wedding cake. Yeah. The night before, I headbutted it. And it, and it wasn't sufficiently soft. Uh, well, no, it wasn't soft at all. A, was as it? a result of a lack of communication. Yeah. And um, I thought I'd broken my nose. Every it was a dense, day. like Dundee fruit cake, Should wasn't it? Be. Yeah. And I Should threw my way. face into that yeah. cake so hard, like and there were partitions that had been left in as well yeah. between the sections. Yeah. And I see that's nice and soft. Yeah. In it goes, all lovely and soft. And up I come, all happy. Yeah. I'm happy there. The night before, and I I actually think it might be worth. I'll put the footage on. It, YouTube yeah. of me coming up with a bright red nose because I thought I'd smashed I'd fucking broken it you, you, you thought you were going to come up with cream and blood yeah. all over your face and then I came off stage yeah. uh, after my DVD record which I thoroughly enjoyed yeah. and I said and I quote myself how hard is it to make a fucking cake yeah. that doesn't break my fucking nose <laughs> here's all the people that worked on it it's a strange job this Ed isn't it yeah I, I mean yeah that was terrifying if you got this far and you listened to everything that Ed and I have said for the last hour and a half, well done. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>